So this is what you reduced yourself to. <laughs> Look at them. Two hungry, wretched, stinking love eggs. <laughs> I can't believe this. You know, thinking you're from my lineage, I thought you would have some senses. But nah. Mm -hmm. They're not intact. Both are they are wrong. They're not alright. So you left your job that eats you 330,000 naira for this thing. Now, what do you think you're actually wearing? A Gucci? If you see a Gucci, can you attest to it? Hello? I am so disappointed at you. After wasting your time going to school, I thought you knew your royalty. Look at your hair. You look so unkept. What are you wearing? A Tommy Hill figure? This your red looks like it was red. It's washed up, girl. Like, it's so obvious. But you're looking from... I can't believe this. Among all the, the shape of the head of the whole guys in this village, you chose this. Who does that? I thought you had sense, it's so my goodness, God. So, this is your last bus stop. The shape of head, zero. Pocket, zero. Legacy bands, zero. Your nose, zero. All your full face, poverty, full face. Who does that? Who does that? Uh, uh, princess, princess. Listen, listen. I don't want you to insult me. Do if not insult me. If you ever talk back at me again, I will make sure I take you to the theater to restructure your head at once. Enough! Have you lost your senses and don't you dare talk to me like that? Enough! You are my cousin. But I'm so disappointed in you. You're not worth the title. No. You know what? You are non existent. So take your non existent self into your non-existing car and drive to your non-existing direction. Oh, yeah. And in case my condition pains you so much. Oh my God. Right there, you will see a transformer. Hug into it and scratch yourself for barbecue yourself for all I care. And you know what? I, I mean, talking with you guys alone, I'm feeling so hot. As tiny as your legs are, and I'm sure that is how tiny you are down there. You could not even wait for a minute. You've already downloaded your poverty inside my cousin. What is she carrying? I'm sure you're carrying a head of poverty. The great grandfather of the poverty. That's what you have in there as a child. Congratulations. <laughs> no, I could give you a lift into the boat. Are you sure you don't want? You don't even have a car. Ah! Come on! I will buy more than that. Oh, come on, enter the boat, please. Oh, My boat is big enough for your poverty stricken, wretched generation. Life! Whatever! Oh! My love, I feel like spraying you bundles of money for that display today on Princess Natasha. <laughs> no, no, she thinks she has mouths. Hmm. She thinks she has mouths. Like I should be shivering because I've met with a demigoddess, Princess Natasha. <laughs> As you mean, I told her what I wanted to tell her. She will think about her life. But wait. Jokes apart, Obi. Jokes apart. Mm. You have bad math. <laughs> you have bad math. Wait, how can you tell our own princess Natasha to go and hug a transformer? <laughs> to go and barbecue herself on a transformer? <laughs> is she a catfish? That one is small compared to what I wanted to vomit to her. I mean, how can Princess Natasha despise men so much? God forbid. Is she a lesbian? Am I her co-lesbian? No, no, you are her former secretary, so you should have known more about her. I don't know anything about her life. I was only her secretary. So <laughs> you're asking me if she's a lesbian, do I know? Well, let's forget about the princess, eh? Let's <laughs> enjoy ourselves. Because, in fact, eh, I wish I had money. I would have celebrated what you did today. <laughs> eh? You really gave it to her. Yes, so. <laughs> in fact, let me feed you, because I'm so happy. <laughs> you be, in fact, I'm so proud of you. Let me feed you. No, I want to meet. Oh, meet. Why not? <laughs> it's 
So you have to add a temple. I mean, what's this? You're not massaging a baby's bum. Okay. Massage, mash you. Don't you understand what is a massage? I'm sorry, my princess. Easy, you're not massaging a tree. What the hell did they get this fat moose from? Let me have the report I asked you to get for me. Where is it? Is your bag, I mean, is your bag going to read it? Or you're such a dummy? Please. What's that stench like your anus? Damn. Okay, so this is the report, right? That's my business. Oh, I don't really trust this report. I think I'll be taking it to my doctor. So he will run a proper test with you. Meanwhile, continue with the massage and please take it easy. I don't understand. Is it like you're scared of massaging my leg or what? Besides, why are you having a scruffy look on your bed? You look like someone who hasn't eaten three square meals all his life. Have you had food today? You know, I think my maiden should get to something that has a vitamin Q and C. Maidens! Oh, maybe food. Proper food, right? You look too dry for my liking. I don't like it. I mean, your nails so dirty. Have you? Just, you know what? Just go wash your hands. Sanitize yourself and then come back. They start protecting my husband's image in the presence of Princess Natasha today. I think she's somehow right. This marriage has been a marriage of marriage since I became pregnant. The government have refused to pay teachers' salaries for past four months. If not for my parents' help, I would have been in a serious situation by now. Just look at me. I mean, take a good look at me. 100,000 Naira salary with 35,000 Naira allowance. I sacrifice all, I mean all, because of marriage. Good morning, my beautiful cousin. Good morning. Why are you so happy today? What's going on? Guess what? I can't actually guess. What is it? Come on, guess. I can't. I said yes. <laughs> you said yes to I don't understand. Oh, come on. I said yes to the man of my dream. My husband to be. <laughs> I mean, as cheap as that ring looks. It actually shows that the man you're getting married to is a broke ass nigga boob. I mean, who does that come up with come? Why would you even accept such man in the first place? That's government school teacher, a man that you even receive salary more than? How are you guys going to cope? I don't get it. That guy is broke, retarded, shrinked, shredded. He's gone out of a woman baby. He is no longer a homo erectus. He's a fucking homo sapien. As a matter of fact, Mates like him are being left in the creek. What the hell? I mean, what are you even thinking of the first place? I am so disappointed. Damn it. Please. Come on. We will manage. Manage what? That is what they keep telling you people all the time. You keep managing. That's how they bring you girls. Manage. Why should I manage? Okay, tell me. When, where would the money come? You know, these men, they are broke. They're not just broke. They are lazy. They're not hardworking. They look for a hardworking woman to clinch on. And then when they get you, they'll be like, oh, maybe when I get married, she's going to come with luck and then things will start moving. Tell me, you see your luck and it's going to provide food for you guys? Hmm. Not about her. Mm. I, Natasha, can never stay so long to marry a man who does not have money. I mean, why would I do that? You need money to train your kids. Look at you, very soon you start wearing one-sided padded bra. Oh, it is true. I have deprived myself a lot. Look at me. I can't even remember when I ate pizza last 
since I got married. The pizza that I use my money to buy and eat whatever I like. I can't even afford it now. Kai, what kind of life is this now? What's going on? I'm fine. I'm just taking fresh air. Uh, let me judge you now. Come. But this one, your mood is like this. What is the problem? Or uh, you need some massage? I said I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, I'm... Ah. You know what the fresh air again? Okay, um, <clears throat> this is actually for a stupid job well done. I want you to take this. It's for you. Well, you know, if I were you, I would actually take this advice. I mean, my two cent advice. You can take the money, meet a proper pharmacist, let them check your interior intestines, and make sure you're properly well. Because, I mean, you look so dry to me. And secondly, you need to go visit the dentist and let them work on your set of teeth. They are deteriorating. It needs to be fixed, okay? And then make sure you do some shopping for yourself. Do not come again with this washed bag. And, I mean, look at your belt. You look so hungry. You can walk on your bed. Make sure you shave and have a clean bed. Do you understand me? Okay, my friend. Did you just lick your mouth? Get the hell out of here. It's a stench. Please shut the door behind you. <clears throat> Your Majesty, the land dispute between the people of Ani and Anioko Kingdom is still unresolved. We have to iron this delicate matter to the last. Because if we treat it haphazardly, it will affect our children, even our great grandchildren. So it is imperative that we deal with this issue once and for all, Your Majesty. I concur. Mm. Your Majesty, he has spoken well. Yes, this important matter has to be resolved now so that we talk about it once and for all. Your Majesty. Oh. <clears throat> uh, Your Majesty, you have heard them. Yeah, I heard you all that. We are going to treat the cause. There shall be no crisis in my reign, nor in my children's reign. It's correct, that's good. Oh, damn. I'll be calling for another meeting, and that will be the last and final over this issue. But that will be on my return from UK, because you know that I'm going for treatment. Well, if you say so, Your Majesty, this meeting is a joke. To further notice my orders. Good morning. I must say you look best from the beautiful. Thank you. Oh, sorry, my, my manners, please. My, I'm, I'm Collins. Please just not touch. Oh, you're a princess. Oh, I must say the gods must have blessed this day coming to meet you. Fine, what can I do for you actually? As you can see, I'm actually joking. 
Oh, I see. I, what is I consider it a crime for a princess like you to walk along the road like that. So I would prefer to take you home myself. Do you go about stopping every woman on the road? Like every morning you come out to pick your choice, fat, slim. Well, I'm, I'm surely sorry. That, that's not what I do. I'm actually heading off to the airport. But I just had to paint that because I've seen something that changed my direction. In other so, words, you're ready to miss your flight just for me. I don't mind. Oh yes, I don't mind. Who does so that? Can I take you home, please? Um, so where's your car? Oh, actually, like I said, I was actually going to the airport. I don't want to go with my other car, so I just had to choose this one. So if you don't mind, I know it's below what you're supposed to expect. It's not just below, it's like scrap. But I, I know. manage it. If you're going to mind, you don't mind. Hey, bro. Yes. Anyways, meet my friend Collins. Collins, meet my big headed bro and my wonderful mommy. Mommy, my friend Collins. <laughs> Collins, don't mind her. Uh, Meanwhile, you're welcome. Thank you, my queen. Please don't mind her. Just have a seat. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, mom, I, as you can see, I'm just coming up from the gym. I would like to go freshen up. Is the sun okay? Get up. It's okay. I can see some people are looking, dude. Robo, so how are you? I'm fine. Are you so serious of marrying my daughter? Oh yes, my queen. I am so serious. And I am willing to do whatever she wants me to do to make her happy. I promise, she will not regret it. So tell me, what do you do for a living? Oh, that. I work with Present World Group of Company, and I am the assistant manager. Interesting. Where are you from? I am from Ebena Pekwe, but I base in Lagos. Good. So for how long have you known my daughter? Well, not quite long, but she is the woman my heart beat for. My queen. My heart yearns for your daughter, the princess. And I am willing to make her my queen. Interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. Please, if you're a human being, can you just Open the door and come in. Have some common sense. Put down my door, girl. Hi. Hi. How are you? 
I'm good. Please sit. I have something for you. Really? Yes. What's that? Diamonds? Shells? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Please sit. Mm, smells nice. How did you know I love the smell? I'm glad you like it. I love it. You have a nice piece of hair. Natasha, this young man likes you, and I want you to take him serious. <laughs> well, mother, I am taking him so serious just the way I take my father's business seriously. Can you allow your brother to spare your father's company? Never, mother. That's not possible. I mean, is this why you brought me out here to bribe me with this? I won't. My brother is a blockhead. As a matter of fact, his head is as numb as that of a British wolf. Come off it, mother. I cannot leave my father's business for him. No, I won't. Father handed it over to me and that's how it is. It's a period. You have to stop treating men like nobody. How can you tell me you're subjecting men to some kind of labor all in the name of testing their love for you? Come off it, mother. Come off it. What are you saying? The last time I checked, Father told me that he, he he saw you the first time. I mean, walking under the rain, Mother, you were so retarded and shredded. You can't compare me to you. My goodness. No. <laughs> mother, for me to stoop so low to get married to any man, he has to go through all those tests, all those examinations. Even if it means him sweeping the whole country in a day, he should do it just to have me as a wife. It's as simple as that. Honestly, you are truly out of your mind. Yes, you are. If I had treated your father this way, do you think I would have been married to him? Listen, people are not perfect. You have to fall in and leave him with it. Well, mother, I am not people. I am me. I can never displease myself to please people. Never. Not now. So you see, huh? I can even equalize my perfection to that of God. They should work on themselves. That is the problem I have with people that live in this vicinity, I mean this part of Africa. Because you woke up and you saw yourself being surrounded with wealth. And you graduated from Oxford University. My dear, it's not a yeastick for you to measure humans. You have to stop bringing in this, your perfection mechanism, whatever, to this side of the country. Well, no. mother, I am grateful that you said Oxford. That is something that in their whole, even if I have to sell their whole generations together, mother, most of them cannot even afford the school fees. Father did not waste time, did not waste money on me. I am doing so well. It's as simple as this. If a man wants to marry me, he must undergo my processes and my labor and my punishment. If he does not like it, he can as well go to Sube and go marry some local stupid thing. And last time I checked, this conversation is becoming so boring, mother. And it's going inside and do some quantitative reasonings to my main brain. Natasha. Thank you, mother. Please. Where did he get all these jobs from? Who is feeding her with all this nonsense? My son, I've seen your sincere heart towards my daughter, Princess Natasha. And how much you want to make her your wife. But I want you to be ready for the unexpected drama from her. Thank you. I am ready. One more thing. She so much believes in her own thinking. So I wish you all the best. Thank you, Madam. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Ready. <laughs> hey! Never end. Hmm. So they actually subject this man to be washing cars in this palace. I don't understand. <laughs> now, wow. Hey. I don't know what the princess is trying to do. Hey, we can you imagine? She wants a loyal husband. Loyal husband, my face. <laughs> but that man is handsome. How can they make that man to be washing on the that, cars that's in the palace? Problem with you. Right now, you are you are even crushing. I'm not <laughs> crushing. I cannot marry Umar Rapana. See this one. I'll be buying something. I beg you. I beg you. It's okay. Hey. Abba. Oh, sorry, yeah. I don't know what this word is Tony. Go and ask him if he wants to.
Hi. Okay, not done. I know, uh, but I'm almost done. Okay, you can see. Okay, um, you forgot this one. Mm. Uh, please, pack it up. Mm. Yes, I will be inside with my mother, so in case if you're done, do let me know. Are you? I'm almost uh, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. Right. Uh, that reminds me, I have some on this inside the Dubai, please. Concentrate on the down part. The down part. Thank you. So you mean Collins, the guy you told me about, is doing everything just to win your heart? Of course. He's doing everything possible. Even if he means washing my father's boxes and my mother's leaves, he will wash them. Like anything you ask him to do. Of course. Ah, oh, please. I am sure he's going to get tired along the line. Very soon. Ah, uh, princess, why now? Why now? This is wrong. Absolutely wrong. Excuse me. What is wrong? Now you tell me. Him not going to marry at least a secretary or a sales girl and coming to marry a princess? Is that one not wrong? Well, he has to pass through all my tests. Like I said, even if it means washing my father's boxes, he will wash it. Uh, I just, I, well, I feel for him. I just wish he proves you absolutely wrong. Oh, well, he cannot. I'm so sorry. No man has ever passed my test. Yes. Babe, this is unbelievable. You can say whatever you, you want to say. My lord. <coughs> Why are you doing this now? Why now? Why are you doing this? Why am I doing what? Look, I'm almost due. I've not even bought my baby things. Eh? What kind of life is this? My love. But I told you to be patient with me. Once I collect my salary, I'll give it to you. Eh? That's what you keep saying. For the past two months, that's what you keep saying. I should be patient for how long? Look at me. I can't even afford to buy my cream. I can't afford to buy my soap. Nothing. I've told you time to that number to leave this government work and look for another work. But you refuse. Is government work paying? Eh? For how long? My love, please, calm down. Take it easy on me, please. Do you know what? Just give me from now till weekend. I will do something. Hmm? I should give you from now till weekend? I, I, I will try and do something. How long have you been telling me that? Every day from now to weekend. From now to weekend. Eh? I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of this life. Oh, seriously, I don't understand what is going on. Government work, government work. For how long? Oh, please. Hi. 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 I'm in trouble. Oh. I'm in serious trouble. Hmm? <sighs> Mother, this is so wrong and absolutely unacceptable. My dear. Your sister wants to frustrate all her suitors. But you see this very one. I've encouraged him to be very stubborn and do whatever she asks him to do. Huh. Natasha. I wonder who's been feeding her with such weird ideas. The other day she subjected my friend, Prince Ugona, to clearing a piece of land just to prove his love for her. Who does that? Honestly speaking, I promise you, she will surely come down from her high horse. But my prayer is, let it not be too late for her. I hope so. Because I will not talk about this issue again. It's okay. Hello, darling. But you know you cannot stay abroad for too long. You should let them know you are the king. No, darling, you cannot. I know your health matters. But you should know I am worried too. Darling, a year is too long for you to stay in UK. Okay, you know what? Please, 
I will communicate to them, yes. I will tell them. But please, do come back immediately after the check. All right. We miss you too. Okay. Bye. So you mean uh, His Majesty will be in London for a year? Yeah, exactly what he told me on the phone, but it can change. This is serious. So serious we can't wait for so long. Why, if I may ask? Because we have land dispute to resolve. Is it that you are deaf or you do not hear alternatively in English language? I need to understand it. My father's health is more important than some settling of some land dispute or whatever you call it. We're not saying it's not. We are trying to talk about matters that are pending. I won't allow the process to wag her mouth on us. We've heard from the Queen. Be okay. You know I'm not culture. You know this black culture. Look at you. No, 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 no. Shut up, mother, please. Go check yourself. Just because I fired your son, you think you can come here and show me some expired red cap beside me? Look at you. When Lazarus changed those jewels on your neck, the stink. Get the hell out of this palace, please. Natasha. Do not infuriate me more. Natasha! Please, I do not care if his heart is about to pull out from his chest because I fired your son. I will fire your whole lineage away if, if I have the opportunity to do so. Why not? <laughs> Damn it. Silence is the best. And now. AJ Gane Popu. It should be the best and look at his rumpled clothes. Expired it was ash. Natasha! What? What is it? Please stop, please. Stop what? You know what? I think we're done with this gadget. Can you guys stop moping at me like some African magic and just get the hell out of this palace? Get out! You don't need to remind us about the health of the king. We already know. And please mind the way you talk to the others. Are you done talking? Ha! Thank God. I have been waiting for you to talk. I've been waiting for you to open your gutter mouth. Your two colored gutter mouth to talk. Look at you. The reckless, oh no, oh no, we never wait. They need to bring a huge stone, a brick, one full block, and put it in your pocket so that the wind will not take you away from the surface of this earth. Look at you and your inspired red cap. Who tell me I don't know who that wears a shoe without a stockings? And I will show you a fatherless man who has no membranes in his head. Do you even know what is a stocking? No, tell me. When was the last time you had time to go carve your beds and look like a proper Onogu? When was the last time you had a proper toothbrush? My prince to brush stop, it? Stop. When was the proper time you ate a good food with vitamin Q and vitamin C? When was the proper time? Tell me the time you ate a good food and received an air condition to your health. I will, oh, get out of I will not be fed up. Will not be here and allow this princess to run more. The others you are even calling are better than you. Look at the way they look well fed than you, the Onogu. Guards! Ladies, they should bring block and come and put in this one. Let me call you. Natasha! Ah, oh no, what for? The wind is about to take your own one. Yeah, you are calling me Natasha. Go and fix your own one. Oh, fix your kingdom. May the gods have mercy on you. Mother, the gods should have mercy on you. Oh no, They should eat good. Oh no, who? What nonsense? Oh, oh, come over here, Natasha. Come on, come over who? Do you realize that these are the elders of this kingdom? And, and as for you, look at you. I thought you were even learned enough. Here you are wearing some white transparent clothes with no singlet inside. Tell me, you can go find some solid tape and close that fucking nipples. I don't want to be seeing them in this palace. Shut! Natasha. What? Don't mistake my calmness for weakness. I hey, warn you. Really? Do not mistake my hotness for a burning furnace. I will. Huh? What? Do you know I have never seen a bagmatic princess like Princess Natasha? Her bad mouth is as dangerous as a viper venom. Jesus! My sister, she has every word that suits everyone. 
Imagine insulting the Ono and Mazi Okeke and that witless man. Jesus! Ha. Calling the Ono witless Ono. As a matter of fact, she has no respect for anyone. Hm. But one thing I keep asking myself is why she hates men so much. But her two brother, the prince, is a different person. Very cold headed. Please, I don't want to listen to you. Please, I'm ashamed. And so, my princess, what are we doing here? Well, I actually brought you here because I want you to want this for me. Uh, princess, I think you're joking because this is supposed to be a mortuary. And yes, then... it's a mortuary. You know, I was thinking to myself, since Collins loves me and wanted to get married to me, why don't I go ahead and manage the business and the royal, you know, when it comes to royalty and all that, while you handle the mortuary business. Being a mortuary attendant is not a problem. I've always wanted to have something like this. <laughs> you know, this actually sounds very funny because I can't imagine myself working in a mortuary. You were expecting me to leave my beautiful job and come down here to work in a mortuary. That's Why would you funny, work right? in a mortuary? Come off it, babe. It's lucrative. You make a whole lot of money from this. Forget the fact that they call it mortuary. No. All you need to be doing is seeing dead people and dead cops, you know. One of their breasts and one of their heart, their nipple falling up and then coming up. That's your state. It is very obvious that you don't want me around you, princess. I have done everything possible to please you, princess. I washed your car, washed your owners, washed everything about you. Yet you bring me down to this place to walk in a mortuary. I cannot stop so low to walk in this place, princess. I cannot. Really? Well, I think it's high time you go back to your village and get married to a female monkey or something. I'm, I'm definitely not going to marry someone like you. I mean, you don't want to do business, then fine. Go to hell. I mean, be my guest. Princess, you can go to hell with your love. I no, I don't, I don't think I need to go to hell. Look at him. You managed to borrow some Balenciaga fake eyeglasses like some Apollo patient and you come with your black and white clothes like a mini police from, 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 from Indonesia. You want to get married to me? You go get married to your monk in the village. Asshole. Look at him. Bastard. Immigrant. Black immigrant. What? Yes. I could not believe it. My queen, I could not believe she could say something like that. This is unbelievable. She actually wants you to become a mortician? Exactly, my queen. She said she wants to run a mortuary business, which I doubt. Really? Yes. I don't know why she's behaving this way. I don't know. This is what we call madness in the highest order. Yes, my queen. I could not believe it. I could not believe she could say something like that. My dear daughter. Please, I want you to know that marriage is not always rosy. Sometimes we don't get what we want in marriage. Marriage can throw you off balance and make you feel so bad that you might even start regretting, why did I even get into this? Sometimes it will make you feel like you're caged. That you be asking yourself, was I charmed? And some other time, it will make you feel so excited that you wish it lasts forever. Whatever side of it you experience, my daughter, I want you to be patient. Okay? Be patient with your husband. I know that things are somehow difficult at the moment. But I also know that things will turn around for good for your husband. So my daughter, be patient. Okay? Mm -hmm. And as for me, I want you to always know that I'll be here for you. Do you understand me? You can always count on me for anything. I will support you with the little I can. Oh, mom. Mama, you are always here for me. You're a wonderful mother. 
You are always supporting me. You are always there for me. Aww. I don't know what I would have done without you. Mm. Mama, you are one in a million. Aww. Thank you so much for being there for me. You're a godsend to my life. And I really, really appreciate everything you've been doing for me. Aww. Thank you. Oh, I promise I will never disappoint you. Oh, I can feel butterflies in my tummy. <laughs> you see, my dear, you're my only child. You are all I have. My only hope. My backbone. If I don't support you, who will? If I don't care for you, who else will I care for? Please. I don't want you to think about anything. Don't worry yourself about anything. You see, all those that laughed at you, eh? All those that laughed and still laughing, eh? They will come back and celebrate with you. All those that mocked you, eh? Watch them. Watch out. God will surprise you. You hear me? That's my baby. Hmm? Thank you. Don't worry. Very soon everything will be fine. Oh, I'm being man. Oh. 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 My brother. What the princess did to her sons is like a scar in the palms. Who will you know that? Eh? My brother. Hmm. In fact, I don't know what to say. Princess Natasha is now all and all in that royal house. Mm -hmm. Both the prince and the queen are all handicapped. Yes. Can you imagine? My brother, mm. I wish our children makes it in life. So I have to put a shame to that idiot. Uh, 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 that reminds me. Mm. How about your son, America? Oh, I give him some money to go to the city so that he can walk out there. Yeah, and true. I believe he will make it. Uh, why not? He will. Um, mm. My brother. But I'm worried. Worried? Worried about what? Our brother now. The king. Oh. How can he leave the palace to go to a white man's land to stay for one full year? Uh -uh. He went for medical treatment. Have we forgotten he is diabetic? And he's suffering high blood pressure too. Hmm, I think I do believe. But well, if you say so, what's me wrong with that? Yeah, all you have to do is uh, pray for his quick recovery. Mm. Yes. Yes. of this nonsense? What is the meaning of this rubbish? What sort of attitude did you just exhibit right now? Are you a tout? Princess Natasha, why did you make me do all the things I did for you? Why? And I see. That's why you brought the shredded wicked and car in front of me, right? Because you managed to close your plate number, you now think you've arrived. Right? So you came to ask me what I did, why you did what you did for me, or why I did what I did to you, right? Very good, let me make you understand it. You washed my panties, you washed my undies for me because you wanted to have me. It's as simple as that. Even if you are taking the mortuary when I asked you to do it, trust me, I would have brought another task which you will never do and which you will never have me. Well, Princess, you made mention of you making me wash your undies and your clothes. Well, I accept that. That is because I was thinking that a princess of a kingdom was supposed to be a neat princess, but I never knew you were such a bleached skin dirty, foul, idiot that cannot simply wash out on this very well. But then I know that you have simply nothing but a fool. Oh, well, you washed Listen. it well? Yeah, I did. Because of course you had to wash it well. I washed it well. Oh, and no. that's because I needed to do it to show you that there are still real men who train themselves. No, I like... fact, you were a fool. How could you be washing off other men's cements from my panties? Hello? You're a dummy. Now, princess, let me make you understand something. You 
have messed with the wrong guy. You know what? Take this monkey cap shit out of my sight as well. The next time you think about overtaking a cross store, make sure you come with at least a cross. The tour can be managed and be kept at home. Get the hell out of Princess, the next time we will meet, you will be as dark as I am. Fuck you, princess. brought you here so I could show you the land where I want to use for the project so I want to also use this medium so let you know that I want you to be the supervisor of the project I don't understand you want me to be the supervisor of I didn't come all the way from Mr. Man I didn't ask you to become a laborer I didn't ask you to join the laborers which is a normal thing no, other guys should have no, done for no. me hard for me right now. I'm, I'm sorry. It wasn't me. I was just in a very bad mood that day. And trust me, we can do this business. Can we just forget about the past and focus on the future? Yes. If only Princess begs. I just say you are in the right office at the right time. Please, Chief Obina, sit. I beg you. You don't mean it, Princess. Of course I do. I saw the files myself. I saw the documents. I am still confused. You know, this guy just wants a company that can be able to manage his money. Let's talk about 18 billion naira. That's a whole lot of money. What? That guy? Yes. He said he came by address. I'm still confused. I just don't get it. So what do you do now? Well, 
I don't know. He is not happy with our first account. Well, you just let him go like that. Of course I won't. I mean, this is a huge opportunity for my company. Imagine my father's company handling filling stations, estates. I would not let that slip through my hands. No, it's not possible. I need this money. 18 billion naira. That's a whole lot. As a matter of fact, I need the money and I also need the guy. We really need it. Well, let's just pray he calls back. We need to pray fervently. Yeah. Let's just pray he calls back. Oh. Kem, you are awake. Ah, Obim, good morning. Yeah, good morning. How was your night? Fine. Obim, you're dressed to go out. Where are you going to? I got an urgent call at the legal government. So I have to be there now. An urgent call? Yeah. I hope there's no problem. No, there is no problem. I dropped 2,000 naira for you. When I'm coming back from the legal government, I'll branch at the market and get some of that things, eh? Okay. Becoming romantic these days. Are you so. saying I have not been romantic or what? Sure. Uh, game. Sure. <laughs> Obvious. Okay. It's like they've paid you. No, no, nah, they have not paid me. I took up a Samora classes in my school. You know, and I told you about those my students now. Mm. They are doing well. The little money they are paying me, that is what I'm managing for now. Eh? Thank but, you. But you know what? Don't worry. Very soon, everything will be all right. I know, hmm? I know. Thank you for my cream and soap you oh, bought for me. Thank stop you now. So. Is it because there is no money? If I have money, I will do more now. Nah. I know good things now. Nah. I know. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, Obi, let me warm the food so that I can eat something before going out. No, 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 no. no. I'm already late for the appointment. When I'm back, I will eat. You know, go? even if it's late, so hmm? can you worry too much? Stop stressing yourself. Relax. Why I'm back? I'll eat, eh? Are you sure? Don't overwork yourself, oh. Mm -hmm. Take care. Thank Don't you. Don't overwork yourself. You are really a very funny man. Prince Desmond, come on. I have to say my mind. <laughs> of course. Of course. Thank you, good mother. Thank you. So, like you said, you want our support. Yes, my prince, especially with the with the youths. Oh, you know. Hi, hi, mother. Oh. Sorry, I can't. You again? Ah, uh, sorry, forgive me. She's my sister, my twin sister, actually. Yes. Really. Hi, nice meeting you again. Ah, same here. You both know each other? Um, yes, recently, but not in a good more. How are you, princess? I am fine, and you? Yeah. That's nice. Mother, I actually came to tell you something, but since you're in a meeting, I'll have to go and come back later. What am I going to do now? Is he going to tell them about me? Stop being desperate, Princess Natasha. You need to calm down. What am I going to do now? The young man came to the palace, soliciting for our support. They said he wants to become the governor of the state. You see? Oh! Oh my goodness! Do you know him before now? Ah, uh, yes, mother. I, I mean, this young man invited me to my office with some business proposal. And? And he said he wanted some companies. I mean, a good company that good. I mean, that can manage his vast properties. 
Have you not been doing that? You are the general manager. You're a demigod. So why are you telling us about this? You know, I'm just going to pretend that you were not even existing or talking in the first place. Natasha, <sighs> you are the general manager of this company. Why are you acting so test? Excuse me? Excuse me? Have you lost your mind? Better watch your mouth. Mother, as I was saying before those headless cockerel distracted me. Mother, this man we're talking about is dwelling in billions of naira. He has a whole lot of money. All we need to do is get the millions from him. Really? Yes. He's just looking for where to invest it and that's it. Natasha, you sacked our cousins. You've never asked for mine or father's opinion, so. What's all this? Mother. Oh, boss, and you know what to do about it. So take care of it. Who is talking to this nigga? Look at him always wearing some red, like some shoeish coat. Mother, as I was saying, this guy has a whole lot of money. Trust me, all we need to do is to, you know, just be cool to him, be able to get the billions of naira that he has for his um, investment. Natasha, what, please don't link me to this. You don't have zero knowledge in administration and management. Really? I'm out of here. Fine! Why is everybody so angry this afternoon? I mean, do you guys eat a whole lot of garlic and ginger? Damn it! Please, don't put your frustrations on me. You mean he's a politician? Like he wants to become the governor of this state? Yes, he is. Now, how do we do it? I mean, how are we going to get him on our side? I need to sign documents on my table, you know it. I need that contract. No, it's still. Okay, okay. See, we have to play the game of politics here. How do you mean? He wants our people's votes, right? Good. Now, as the princess, you have to meet the youth leader. If he doesn't give you the contract, we don't vote for him. I don't really know if I'm making sense. You know, I just want to think out loud. I understand what you're saying. You're actually making sense, but as a politician, I'm sure you know they're used to buying voters' mind. What if he buys the voters' mind? What do we do? I don't know. But we, we have to start here. Yeah, this is just the idea that crept up in my mind. I'll just manage it like that. God. <clears throat> uh, my princess. The total number of uh, youth um, in this community are just uh, 1,120. Wow. That's nice. Very good. Um, but we have 500 presently, both in and out. So where is this 120? Abroad. Abroad? Yes, my princess. How do we get um, true to the point that we have in the community, the people that are around? How do we get true to them? My princess, they only listen to the youth leader who is married now. And who is the youth leader? Isuna, my princess. Isuna? Yes, my oh, princess. No. Um, my princess, any problem? No, not at all. I'm just wondering why he should be the youth leader. Um, actually, I've not done the election, though. We still have two months elapsed. That's the same time he's supposed to run for governorship, right? Yes, my princess. I see. Um, what about his vice? Does he have a vice? Yes, my princess. Can we get true to him? I mean, who, who is the vice? Um, <clears throat> Emedike, your cousin. Goodness, God. Can you gather them together? I wish I can, my princess, but <clears throat> I can't, my princess. I'm just only the financial secretary. And they won't listen to me. So I don't want to break the protocol. Goodness, God. <sighs> my princess, you know that thing? Not at all. Never. I will never do that. First you insulted me and now you need my help. Today you will know the power of a man in this palace. Can you just shut your mouth, you toothless bulldog? Shut the hell up, please. You understand from you irritates me. Are you kidding me? This is not about me. This is about the company and you know that. Very well. Go ahead and keep doing it and please don't get me involved. You won the heart of father. You made him understand that you are the only one who can run the affairs of that company. 
and now you want him to think otherwise? Hell no. You are smart. You are brilliant, just like Father said. Please, go ahead and do it. So don't get me involved. You don't need a man in this. Uh, Mother, please, do you mind talking to your boy? Make him understand that this is about the interest of the family. It is not about me at this point in time. Yes, Mom. Mother, please don't call my Why name. Why would she call you? Don't call my name. Mom, she has to call back the secretary. And then a mini she, 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 she sacked them from the company because of her selfish needs. Yes, she did that. Now you want me to call the youths of this kingdom and tell them what? Not to vote for Obina until he appends his signature on her proposal. Never. I'm not going to do that. Of course, you know the youth will never listen to you. They will not answer your call because they hate your fucking God. How dare you? Stop it! Are you crazy? Are you nuts? Look at this anti clockwise idiot. Don't you ever talk to me like that again. I am your other sister. I came into this world before you. Damn it! Who the hell do you think you are? Natasha, you slapped me. And I'll slap you again! Natasha! You sickening me. Potatoes will potate. Nonsense. Fine. You can go ahead and pull down this palace. I will not summon the youth of this village. I will Natasha. not, mother! I will not! Please, go treat your slap, nigga. Go Natasha. fix your chin. You need to calm down. You see what we've been telling you? What goes around comes around. Mother, Mind please. how you treat people you refuse. Mother, please, what are you talking about? Which people are you talking about? Are you talking about the people you have in this community? They are mad. We are talking about father's company. We need to fix it. You Why is nobody in the house You should this mind how you treat people. But you refused. Mother, trust me, I think everybody in this palace needs to visit some rehabilitation. Seriously. So, you now know the road that leads to my house. You have decided to come down from your high horse. Hmm. You ask me to mobilize the youth. As what? Do I look like your personal ex? After all you did to my daughter. Your own cousin. My man. Uncle. I am not your uncle. I am the Ono. Ono. Present. Please. Can you at least come to the palace and talk to my twin brother? Impossible. I, Uwezike, the Ono of Fani and the Anuko Kingdom, will then not leave my house and go to that palace until my own brother, your father, his majesty returns. I will not do that. Why are you so stubborn? Now, what to understand it, what is so special about you? Who gives someone with an expired red cap an Ono title? Who does that? Continue. Why are you behaving like some headless cockroach in the first place? Because I stooped so long to come to this place, to come exchange words with you? Look at you! I managed to come here to change your life and here you are, sounding like some almost dead leprosy patient. Please! The whole place thinks already I'm out of here. You think you are smarter than everyone? Why not you go and mobilize you by yourself in a, in a slow English? Hey! <laughs> hey, Lamba! You don't mean it. Huh? Are you serious? You needed to see the way your father trashed her out of this house. But, he, but you know, I, that girl is so, is so shameless. Do you know that instead of her to even plead, she was busy running that her dirty stinking mouth before your father? Mama. Hmm. Hey, I trust Papa. Hmm? I know what he can do. He gave it to her. Hot! Oh Hot! Oh, Mama, wait, wait, wait. Why is she looking for the youth? Like, why is she looking for the youth of the community? It, 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 What's her motive? Ajum can join you. I don't know for her. Because she never made her intentions known to either your father or anyone. So, can I bust her? Ha! Stupid ha, girl. Mama! Mama! Now that my husband is still the youth president of this community, uh -huh. Mama, I'm waiting for her. Hey! I'm waiting for her when she's walking without her two left leg, Mama. Just at the entrance. <laughs> Trust me. Mama, uh -huh. I will just go and look for I will garnish all the chemical paper that is inside the I will mix it with sheets. Uh -huh. 
both concussion. <laughs> Mama will pour into her face. <laughs> Mama, you know, don't, don't trust me. Don't look over that girl. Don't. I know. I know. I know what you're capable of doing. I'm a man. I'm waiting for her. But Vico, because of your condition, <laughs> eh? I don't want her to harm you nor my unborn grandchild. Vico. Yeah? Mama, calm down. I'm waiting. You don't understand. Hey. That, 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 that lady deserves to be treated the way she treats other people. This is like a film to me. so wicked. This is like a film to me. <laughs> I would have said deal with her, but because of your condition. <laughs> this sweet. Very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see why I keep telling you that? Always be nice to people. Because you don't know who will help you tomorrow. Princess Natasha insulted my in-law at the palace. She even insulted you. She insulted me also. Princess ah. Natasha insulted the whole village. Bag of insults. Huh? I pray she comes to me. Hey. Let me use my mouth to directly her life for her. <laughs> I will so directly her life for her. <laughs> oh. Okay, calm down. <laughs> yeah, come, yeah, come, Not just you. you. Everyone is waiting for her to come. Me, I'm even waiting for her. If I see her, this is my knife. I'll cut her leg into two. <laughs> just because you accepted to marry me, Can you imagine? she fired you from your place of work. Ah. Okay. <laughs> my dear, forget about that princess. She's not important. Hey, how far? How far the place you went to? Any outcome? Something good is coming. Hmm? Just calm down. Something good. Good news is on the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I, I hate suspense. You know? I hate suspense. Just tell me what's, what's happening. I want to know. Put to bed first. Hmm? Oh. Calm down. I'm not coming down anything. In fact, um, this thing you told me about Princess Natasha is making me to laugh. <laughs> I cannot wait to see her here. <laughs> let me, let, I will finish that girl. <laughs> we are all waiting for her. Princess of our time. No, Princess Natasha. Mm -hmm. Natasha, how far have we gone? Are we making any progress? Yes, we are. What? You have to be pragmatic, Natasha. I know you can never ever admit it when it's not going your way. Tell me, what is the latest? I mean, have the youths concurred to what you said? They will. How sure are you? Because I have everything all sorted out. When the time is right, they will accept or better still forget about it. It's that simple. Okay, um, what about your twin brother? Oh God. What is my twin brother doing in this, I mean, in this discussion? He is supposed to be in the picture, Natasha. No, he's not supposed to be in the picture. As a matter of fact, I think you should change the topic. Are you serious? HK? Hmm? She asked you to come and see me. So the princess actually sent you to come and meet me. What? As what? Isuna. Are you not the duty leader again? 
Maybe she wants your help. Hey, GQ. I am highly disappointed at you. How? I should gather the youths. Go and tell the princess that no one is gathering any youths. I, is you will not gather any youths. I also tell her that I still remain the youth leader of Anyoku and Ani clan. She knows. <laughs> oh, the princess sent you to me. For what, if I may ask? Um, <clears throat> Uh, you know, uh, as one of the noblemen in this kingdom, as an opinion leader as well, she believes that with your power, you can mobilize the youth so she can address them. Mm. Yes, Nai. I understand that my son and you are friends. <laughs> Very good, Rani Nai. We are friends. Ah. Yes, Nai. <laughs> I also understand you know that my son and the princess are cousins. <laughs> I'm aware of that in nine. Hundred ah. percent aware. Ah. <clears throat> yes, in nine. That means you know how the princess fired my son from her father's company without tangible reason. <laughs> nine. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm only a, a messenger. Only a messenger. Ah. Only she can go. Messenger to the princess. Uh, not to the princess. I just came to deliver a message here. Oh, please forget my manners, okay? Sorry, let me get you to go now. You sit down, it's going to. No, I don't get it! I don't know, this is my own. I'm going to leave you. That's a bad idea, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Hey! 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 Yeah. Let's go down to the Mother, I will not work with Natasha. I will not do what she says. Do you realize I am a prince? The crowd heir to the throne of this kingdom. My dear, she needs you in that company. You cannot just abandon your father's company just because you have a rigid sister. Hell no, mother. You do not get the point. I'm very sure Natasha can take care of that company, the affairs of that company, with or without me. I am done. You need to meet with that young man. I think he is the bone of contention here. If you agree to give such contracts to the company, it means the family will benefit from it. So at the end, all praise will be given to Natasha, as usual. By the way, why is she running around the kingdom trying to put together the youth of Annie and Annie the kingdom? Why? I have my reasons, mother, and it is personal to me. You are too stubborn. Why don't you tell your mother? You have to think, mother. Think? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me to think. I am not your staff. I am your mother. Fine. Since you insist, Chief Obina is running for governorship in the state, right? You still have the poster, huh? Good. By the time we tell the youth of our community who to vote for and who not to vote for, trust me, Chief Opina will have no other option than to dance towards you. I don't understand. Mother, what is there for you not to understand? It's as simple as this. He would have no other option than to accept my proposal. Trust a girl. I know quite some numbers of youths of this kingdom. And I have also met with some noblemen too. And I understand that I will get some reasonable amount of votes from the youth. That is if the royal family calls and address them. But I don't understand the clouds here. Are we in some kind of give and take? Chief Obina, we are talking about business here. Obina. 
I am aware that our father's company gave you a proposal. Yes, to manage my properties. Then, we'll talk to you some other time in regards to your demands. That's okay by me. Listen to me, you do not come in here and ruin things for me. I will not take that from you. What is your problem? This man is a very busy man. He's worth millions. Okay, fine. Why don't you go ahead and tell him about corporate agreement? We never had a corporate agreement. It was you who moved on your own plans. Not with me, not with mother. Maybe with father. Besides, why would Obina just wake up one morning? Chief Obina, whatever he calls himself, wake up one morning and decide to become the governor of a state without a proper background check to know his words. Yes! Why is he even pumping on the company? Look at you. Look at you talking like some time current photosynthesis. You don't want to sit here and take your talking from a man who suffered his mother's spread for, for how long? You're talking like a fool. What is your problem? I never told you this man came by address, mother. Well, let's the investigations prove that. I'm, 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 I'm not moved by his political plans. I'm really bothered about all about his company. Well, like, you know what? I'm done with this. Rubbish. Mother, I don't care about whatever he has. He came to our company for business, and now what? Trust me, Mother, I have a bad feeling about this. A very bad feeling. He wants votes. I totally disagree with you, Mother. He could act like every other politician. Buy votes. Not this. I don't trust that guy. Mother, this is a conflict. Evidence that proves that this man is a very busy man, he's worth billions of naira, and this is how he made his first million. I mean, everything this guy here is showing. And you listen to me, the next time you will ever push me to the side, I'm going to forget that you're my younger brother or my two brothers, and I'll put you behind bars, you midget. No, Natasha! I will not be alive and work to run father's business like you're running your inheritance. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you, Natasha? I'm going to be asking you, what the hell is your problem? Why wouldn't you want me to run my father's company? What is your problem? Look, there is no difference between you and that peacock behind you. How dare you? Ask yourself what the hell do you think you are? I just said what I said. I said you have no right to do that. To do what? To do what? To do what? To do He will be so jealous of me, it's very obvious. Because you expect me to be wearing some royalty with some horse hair on my head, like a public idiot. Is that what you expect me to do? No, I tell you! I will be wearing that public idiot. Why the hell do you think I'm jealous of you? Why the hell do you think I'm jealous of you? Look at you. Why? Tell me, because you're white. You know what? Let me tell you something you don't know. All the guys out there have, I mean, they have kids. They have marriage. They are married. They're married with their kids in the house. But look at you. All you want to do is take my father's throne. You will never be a prince or a king. You just end up here till I die. Look at you looking like a media God! Yes, hello. Hello, Princess Natasha. How are you? Oh, this is uh, Chief Obina. Yes. Yes, yes. Actually, I, I want to ask you for a date. If you don't mind. I will send you the address, okay? See you. Thank 
Princess Natasha, I have been looking at you for quite some time now. And I need nobody to tell me that you're the right man to handle my vast empire. Yes, I have a lot of money to take care of forever. I don't understand. I thought this was supposed to be a business meeting. Well, I am a man full of surprises and a very busy man at that. I want you to marry me, my princess. Do you realize I am a princess? I mean, you cannot marry me just like that. We have protocols, we have rules. Well, I know about the protocols because I'm a chief. But you know, sometimes when you have a lot of money, protocols doesn't matter. Really? Fine. So, what do you want me to actually do? I want you to propose to me. What? You want me to do what? I want you to go on your knees and propose to me. Then I'll put it in the ring. Like I said, I have so much money to take care of for the rest of the life. And I might not have the time to have this conversation again. Not really strange when you have a lot of money. Well, I don't want you to see it as if I'm trying to put you down, my princess. But I want you to understand that I'm a title holder, and it is normal for a woman to be close to a wealthy man like me. You need to settle down, girl. Come on, just play along. That is the game. What do you mean by play along? Are you listening to yourself talk? Girl, I am telling you that I felt like the ground should open so I can sink inside. I felt like I was... I felt like I was stripped naked in front of him. It was so sudden. It was like an impromptu meeting. It wasn't supposed to be like that. I wasn't expecting it. All I have to say, you, you you have to open your heart and give him a chance. Girl, you're getting married to a billionaire. So you have to be submissive. He is a politician, girl. A politician. Do you mind keeping quiet for some time? I would really appreciate it, you know. Since you don't have anything meaningful to say. Whatever. <sighs> there is no time. There is no time. Come on! Look, you cannot subject this one. Not this one. He is not like the others. So you have to be submissive. Do you know that millions of girls would dive this opportunity that you're here nagging about? Whatever. Come on! You call it millions of girls. I think you made a mistake. As a matter of fact, there should be millions of fishes, not me. No. Just stay focused and get the money and the contract. Come on. Just let me be. Okay, Is it so possible? I will okay, not dive you. Yeah. Hey, Mom. You're welcome. How was your day? Probably bad. You had a fight with someone? Not at all. Let's just say it goes in the wrong way. Chief Hovina, and you accepted just like that? Well, Mother, let's just see that you have a chance. Just like that? Mother, your son cost us. He told the youth not to accept any call from the real world, right? Maybe he had told them to accept it at all. Maybe then I would have had a choice, but now. I had no other choice. 
marriage and contract. Mother, I had no choice. Thanks. Are you okay? Yeah. What's this? What is it now? Are you okay? Obin, what is it? Open it and read it. Um. You're scaring me. What is it? Why are you giving me this? Just read it. Why are you scared? Open it. I hope all is well. Are you okay? I'm fine. You got, you got me a job. I told you. He said, as soon as you put to bed, that you can take your time and take care of your baby. Then you can resume whenever you like. I told you I was going to give you a good job. Oh, I told you. Oh, Bim. Oh, you told me. I told you I was going to get you a good job. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I? I, 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 I don't know what to say. Do you mean I will become a secretary? Not to anyone, but to the local government chairman. The chairman of our local government. Ah, secretary thank you, General. Thank you, thank you so much. I told you. you. If I just put to bed. Just put thank to bed. You. Are you okay? Huh? Are you sure you're all right? Are you sure? Maybe just keep. I'm fine. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Oh, my God. It's a big one. Oh, it's a good news. For Secretary me. General. Secretary, Secretary General. General. Secretary General. Secretary General. Secretary General. Ah! Secretary General. What is it? Baby. Baby's coming. Baby. 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 Hey. Oh, baby, I want to shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me, let me get the dice. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait, just wait. Last, 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 last. Let's go, guys. Ah! Let me, let me, I want to shit. I just shit here. Come here, you are coming now. Let me get the dice. Oh, 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 he proposed and she accepted. Exactly what she told me. I said it. He was just not here for votes. He already had plans to slide into this family. Are you not happy for your twin sister? Oh yes, I'm happy for her mother. She can go ahead and enjoy her life. Please excuse me, Bob. Please go and make some food for me to eat. I'm hungry. I beg your pardon. Excuse me? <laughs> it's the gods for me. Hello? I should go into the kitchen and make food for you as who well as your slave. What happened to your mates? As my wife. My cook is on leave. That's why I invited you over here. So you invited me over here for you to reduce me. I mean to stoop my personality solo to the point that I have to go into the kitchen. Inhale so many gas and all the hotness just to make food for you. Have you lost it? Listen to me, I am a princess and where I come from, I have maidens at my beck and call. You cannot reduce me to that point. I am not your sister. 
He now am I for your light. And you have to remember that you're a woman and you ought to be in the kitchen. I am just going to go into that kitchen to make food for you because it is obvious that I mean hunger is beginning to eat the lines of your eyes. Princess but please, next time you send me to go and make food for you, Princess that food is going to choke you. Princess Natasha, you have to be calming down. <coughs> oh, gum. Uh, oh, gum. I love. You might hear them mouth. <laughs> I love. Hey, I don't mind. Love, one, ten, ten. Here. You push should allow me to go for this one I came. Before I'll do two or more in one visit. Uh, mama, mama, it's not mama. like mama, it's not like that, nah. Not like that. Uh, uh, Are you sure it's not like that? Ah, uh, uh, mama. Hey. <laughs> okay. Um, um, ma I am done beating your baby. Come, let me massage your body now. Okay. The hot water is ready. Oh. So that I may make this love on our daughter. <laughs> okay, mama. Thank you, mama. <laughs> mama, you know what? Don't worry. I'll be going. I will join you, eh? No, 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 no. Better follow Mama now. Mm -hmm. Let Mama go and give you that hot water massage. Mm -hmm. So you always have that flat tummy, huh? Mm -hmm. you, you, you know that. So you look, always look attractive for me. Mm -hmm. eh? My love. Go now before Mama leaves, please. My eh? love, by the time I'm done with her, eh? You see, everything will go back to the original position. Mm -hmm. I trust you, my mm -hmm. love. I trust okay. you. If it is, I'll be tired and strong. Go, 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 and collect the hot massage. Go, 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 go. go. <laughs> I want your tummy to be flat. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Go now. Go. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes go. Follow my mama. Mama, I do it well. Eh? <laughs> uh -uh. You want go to the room? You want go to the <laughs> oh God, let me go and do it, do it well for you. Mama, do it well. Do it well. <laughs> yes. Hi. Right. Loves. Love. Why are you looking at me like that? What is it? Okay, so, what was it like? What was what like? Come on, girl. Give a girl something to hold on to. I mean, what are friends for? Why are you too like Africa? Why are you so inquisitive? You are always curious to know what happened to someone. I or don't to understand. Something. Wait. I better give me something. How was it? Fine. Uh, how was it? Fine now. Just fine. Yes, he was so good in bed. Oh my God! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. You mean you had political sex? No, I had a scientific sex. You're fucking crazy. How did I know you reach out to me? No, baby, I had a political banging. Nah, I had a scientific banging in my life. You're crazy. Just change the topic right now. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> yes. Hello, handsome. How are you? Okay, a quick one. I don't actually know where you are right now, but if you are home, can I come over? Okay, I'll be there sooner or later. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Greetings, mother. Greetings to you. Your father called. Oh, really? Yes. So how is he? Oh, he's doing fine. He said he'll be coming back next month. That's good. So? 
Are you okay? Mother, I do not trust that man. Which man are you talking about? Chief Obina Wafo. What about him? There's something strange about that man. You know, he came soliciting for votes in our kingdom. And not long ago, he proposed to Natasha. And unlike Natasha, she accepted. I'm very sure for her own selfish interest. Now, Natasha has been all over that man. Yet, she has not come home to tell us if he accepted the proposal or not. I think she's beginning to frolic without her senses. Do not speak such about your twin sister. And please, allow her to live her life. When she was busy deserting suitors, we're all complaining. Now she has accepted one. We no longer see her. Yes. She spends more time in that man's house. Always around him. Our mother, I believe you and I know the consequences of our actions. If Natasha gets pregnant outside wedlock, the throne is going to leave our family forever. Oh, stop it. She already knows the consequences. Let's hope she does. Uh, my others, mm. you are all oh. welcome. Oh, no. Oh, no. My elders, our people say if we do not see Mwafo, we must see Wanko on our way to the market. You're right. Oh no, since our king is not well and he's not in the country presently, we cannot fold our arms and watch our lands being taken by the people of a new world. We must do something. Yes. Hey! No? The child again. Okay! Stop that rubbish! Oh, is it why you dropped a senseless and lame proverb? <laughs> Look, we must wait for our king to return. You must be returned. I refuse. My elders will not accept it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, um, elders, we must treat this matter. We will not wait for the king to return. Yes. We have all, all of our heads. Elders, we have heads. Yes. The king has only one head. We will not wait for him to return. Yes. Never. Yes. We will start now to do something. Yes. yes. Um, my people, mm -hmm. uh, uh, please, let's take it easy. There is no need fighting ourselves. We all know how delicate this matter is. Um, I have a good news for all of us. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Tell us the good news. That is the main reason why I called this meeting. Yes. <sighs> Our king, his majesty, will be returning next month. Uh -huh. ah, ah, ah. I thought he would stay up to one year. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was what they told him from the beginning. Not He's returning to very soon. Not to the top. <laughs> 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 good, 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 good. 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 Is it the queen that told you that? No. Prince Desmond did. It. Okay. And I. What about the land dispute? Well, until the king is back. Yeah. It's alright. Mother, this is my life we're talking about. 
You have no right to question me or tell me what to do with it. Natasha, you dare not say such. You are a princess. You do not have to sleep with any man until your bride price is paid. Mother, I know that. I hope you know better. Exactly what your brother said. And I'm saying same. Mother, please. Chief Opener is a gentleman. He knows who I am. And he's going to do the right thing at the right time. Why is everyone making a problem out of nothing? Please. Seriously speaking, since I left this village, I haven't achieved anything. Your son here cannot even boast of 15 naira. Nothing with me. I don't have a dime. Everything I try to lay my hands upon in the city becomes unsuccessful. All my mates there in the city are succeeding. All their businesses they are doing. They are all flourishing. But anything I try to put my hand, anything I venture in, anything I say, let me try this business, it will just collapse. Papa, me, I am tired though. I don't know if I am cursed or have a problem. I am tired. Don't worry yourself, my son. Eh? You've tried your best as a man. It will soon be okay, alright? It will soon be fine. Don't bother yourself. I'm tired. It's not easy. My hey. mates are, are enjoying themselves. I cannot even boast of 1,000 naira to feed. Three square me. In fact, two square me was a problem. Nothing was working out at all. Hey, Melike. As you can see, I'm on my way to Edgar's house. I'll soon be back. Hmm? I'll be back sooner or later. Okay? Good evening. I'll make what would I go inside and make myself comfortable with? Eh? Since I came back, but have you asked me if I'm hungry? I've not eaten anything and you're going to see someone else. What kind of life is this? Mm. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, my, uh, yeah, my. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this food is sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Very sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I agree. <laughs> welcome. So, um, how is life in the future? Life. Come on. <clears throat> but let me drink water for this question. You know, I used to hear people say, once you go to the city, you will make money. Hmm? But my own story was different. I went to the city and my life became miserable. No money, 
no food, no shelter. Even one square meal a day was very difficult for me. I was suffering, I was wallowing in poverty there, all my years in the city. Can you imagine that I came back to this village with just 500 naira? 500 naira, even when I came back, the bike man that took me from the junction to my house took 250 from me. And now what is remaining with me is just 70 naira. 70 naira that I was in bike that and granite and drink. Life in the city is very fast. Let me not just say. Emily, my brother, hmm? once again, you are welcome back home. Mm. The most important thing is that you came back alive. Exactly. Because when there is life, there is hope. Hmm? Yes, so. Hmm? Once there is life, there is hope. At least I'm alive. Yes, so. My hope didn't die in the city. I'm here. My brother, city life, eh? Very difficult. Especially when you go to that place called Lagos. Don't near that place, so. If you don't have money. Ha! I saw fat. Fat. Wow. Uh-huh. Adam now. I heard that you've given birth to a passing baby boy. Hmm? Where is he? My dear, God has answered my prayer. Mm. He gave us a bouncing baby boy. Come see where your chuku. I like it. <laughs> That's his name. Yes. Hey, very wonderful. Evil <laughs> blood. Yes, sir. Ibo blood. <laughs> where is he now? Mm -hmm. Let me bless him. Oh. I'm now that boy is very stubborn. Yeah. Very, very stubborn. He's like he's crying inside. Yeah, he's like, he's like, bring him outside now. Okay. He will disturb you. Ah. He will disturb you. Oh, yeah. Like fire, like sir. That you trust me. <laughs> you need more food. Let me give you more food. Why? I need like a pot. Really? I'm, I'm, I'm very hungry. Okay. 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 Let me get, get you more food. Yeah. Give it to our phone. Be cool. So my brother. Hmm? You're welcome. Uh, go and bring my village. So happy that you are back home. Hmm? At least, if you don't make it in the city, come back to your village. Hmm? Also, it's a welcome. Google. See, you need to understand me here. I am not saying that we cannot do this business some other time. All I'm saying is that I want my fiance here to handle my properties. Just like that. So what are you going to do? I have to think. See, my friend, you don't have to kill yourself, huh? <laughs> don't go and have IBPO. Whosoever that says that you've not tried in this community, let him or her go to the city and return you with money. Yeah? I'll put that in. Stop thinking. Hey, what is it, Bata? It's not easy, oh. Educate. Hey, Menike. Thank you so much for being a good friend. <laughs> Let me go to my father's house. Hmm? Okay. I will see you later. Okay? All right, no problem. Mm. Take care of yourself, eh? No, you too. <laughs> Remember your name, oh? Hey, Menike, I'm going to help you. But why are you here? Kai, this is what I'm going to do. Anyway. In a state of jeopardy, if you don't help me out with this money. See, once I become the governor of the state, I would pay you times two of whatever money you give me now. 
My friends have deserted me. The bank has given me so much loan, they don't want to give me any more. Everybody's waiting for me to become the governor so that I can start paying them back. See, my love, I am certain to become the next governor of the state. Please. Baby, you don't understand me. I'm not saying I can't help you if I was in a situation where I can, but from your political ambition, I know the amount of money you're talking about will be very huge. See, the company does not have it. Just borrow. Borrow. Okay? See, when, once I have the money, I will get back all the documents and I will pay every dime the company has spent on me. Trust me. I'll see what I can do. Please, help me. You're my last hope. Please. See, honey. In fact, I will pay you three billion naira once I become the next governor. Trust me. I promise you, it's a deal. Fine, I'll, I'll think about it. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. This is so hard. I mean, why must it be you? You should go and look for one of his rich friends and demand such amounts of money from them. This is not funny. Yes, I get where you're coming from, but the truth is I'm falling for this guy. Natasha! What? Where will you get such amount of money from? Are you out of your mind? I am not out of my mind. Confident, this is my husband to be that we're talking about. Babe, this is not the plan. I know it is not the plan, it was not the initial plan and all that, but I just found myself falling deeply in love with this guy and there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, he's got only two options to continue with his political ambition. It is either he pays the money or forget about the documents. Oh. I think you need to discuss this with your father, His Majesty. Oh, please. My father shouldn't be involved in this. I'm so what are you going to do? The company. After a long tussle regarding the land disputes in our kingdom, today I want to give judgment. Having looked into the matter, I have uh, researched also and widely consulted many people regarding the six lands that has been given problem in our kingdom. I hereby declare that the lands belongs to the Anupuki clan. This is not a good judgment. The judgment does not all go well. In as much as I'm from a new cool kingdom, I'm not a part to this. Leave my palace. And finish. Get up. Is it? Say that, boy! May the gods vindicate the truth. It's a good one. And I don't want to see you anywhere close to my house. You bet! 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 Excellent judgment! Yes! Hey, hey, what are you doing? 
No. Ngas. Ghosts of our land. Anyoku has taken our properties. The king said the land which have been a case for so many years belongs to them, the people of Anyoku. If he spoke with justice, let his majesty continue. He said, but he, if he twisted the truth in order to favor his clan, may his throne leave his family. He said, may there be shame, shame in the royal house. He said, oh gods of our lands, speak for the people of Ani. Speak for us. He said, let us go. Your Majesty. Yes. I don't think you made the right judgment. It's obvious. Even OKK, your brother, did not support you. Now tell me, are you the king? No. Are you the custodian of law in this kingdom? No, I am not. But then be silent. You do not speak of what you don't know. My judgment is final. Okay, and the rest are angry because Natasha sent their children out of the company. Haven't I tried for them? Haven't I? And who gave him the powers to counter my judgment? Who? It's, it's all right, my king. Nonsense. You're here. Uh, but, but what is it now? I've been calling you and you're not responding. Is there a problem? My son, I see a great danger about to befall this kingdom. Great danger? May the gods forbid. What is that you're talking about? The gods will forbid if men will speak and rise to it. Papa, you are speaking in parables. What is it? What is going on? Your uncle, King Art, passed an unfair judgment regarding the land dispute we have with the people of Ani. Why is he doing that? I mean, everybody knows that the land belongs to the people of Ani. Oh, you know? Of course I know. I know. Do you know that he favored the people of Ani? Instead of giving back the land to people of Ani that owns the land. Hey. Papa, I don't know what is wrong with the king. He has a problem. He's very greedy. He's wicked. I don't know why he's like this. A callous king. I don't know. His problem is taking people's lands and properties to himself. Why? Without even giving to the, uh, uh, his people, his citizens. Who does that? Fine. Those, do you know that the company I was working for, those lands that are close to that place, he took everything to himself, whereas the lands are not his own. Why is your brother so wicked and greedy at the same time? Why? How did my brother become this greedy? It's a big question. 
Hey, man, I appreciate you, John. I'm bad. Hey, what's up, brother? Hey, hey, you know, hmm? Oh, of course, again. Hmm. Oh, well, I saw you believe I'm on your way up here. Oh, you're a cracker. Oh, you can't do it, sir. You're not coming. Good news. You're not coming. No. Oh, I go I go to I go to I Oh, yeah. One now, okay. Mm -hmm. Our brother had to do something about this. Mm -hmm. We can't be fear of death and refuse to fall in line of battle. Mm -hmm. I think he's making a very big mistake. Hmm. Mazi, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. You have a key point. Yes, um, I will speak with him. Mm -hmm. Yes. I will let him know that that judgment is not supposed to stand. Yes, despite he is our king. Mm -hmm. But if he keep deaf, yes. That's okay, okay. I'll wash my hand off. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We'll lose our brother now. We still have to be talking to him until it gets into his head. Anyway, like I said, um, I will speak with him. But I will advise we allow the tension to die first. Don't you think so? I think you're right. Yes. You're right. Yes. <clears throat> Izuna, we the youths of Aniklan are displeased with the judgment of the king regarding to the land dispute. Even some elders of Aniku are standing firm that that land belongs to us. So, <clears throat> we want you as a youth leader to convey this bitter message to the king to call for the second hearing of that dispute with immediate effect. Ushika, I've heard you. Honestly, when I heard that the king favored an Yuko clan, I was shocked myself. I never believed that the king would favor a Nuku clan concerning <clears throat> that land, honestly. Uh, you see, it is totally unfathomable. It is very bad. Even my father is not in support of that. My father and I kicked against that totally. We don't like that rubbish. But you see, my friends, I think there is something fishy about that land. What could that be? Mildred, you're my sister's very close friend, correct? Very close. I, I want to know if you, you think my sister is doing the right thing. I mean, do you think she's well upstairs? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Like, I'm lost here. Alright. Since you lost, I will help find you. You of all people know that my sister claims to be highly intellectual and vast in all aspects of life, including business. Yes. So as a close friend, I want you to rate her. Sincerely? Sincerely, please. Well, 8 over 10. 
8 over 10. Indeed. So tell me, who's this Obina guy? Who's this guy that's making her walk with her head so high? Do you know him very well? My prince. I mean, he is your in-law. And you should be the one I'm not to... disputing that fact. I just want to know if you know him so well. Well, I know that he is my friend's fiance and a prospective in-law to you. That's all I know. Please drink up and thank you very much for honoring my call. No, this is serious. Man. So, what are you going to do about it now? I am planning to meet with the king. Mm. To discuss about it or where? Yes, of course. Nay, <laughs> do you know what I heard? I heard that there is stones and crude oil in that land. That is why the king decided to favor the Anyoko people. Woman, hmm? speak what you know. Kepo and Kepo speak what I know. Are you saying that the market people that are talking about it, they don't know what they're saying? Eh? Are you saying they don't know what they're saying? After all, it's someone that is speculating the news. I did not discuss this with you. I don't know what you're talking about. Period. Now you know, you know, I want us to discuss this thing very well because I need to be sure. Oh no. If not, that you might be loud. I would have thrown you out of this palace. Your Majesty. Yes. How dare you stand to counter my judgment regarding the land at Oji? How dare you? You and I know the truth. That land does not belong to us. It belongs to the people of Ani. The next time you sit before me to talk back of me, I will chop off your head. Then let me die for the truth I know of. You are supposed to stand for the truth and fairness for the people of this kingdom. Even our own father defended the truth. Our family is known for openness and truth. Your Highness! Not even the gods will tell me to leave that land for the commoners. This is for you. Love you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I actually did this for you because I always want the best for you. I always want you to live up to your dreams. Oh, that's so powerful of you. You're welcome. Love you. Thank you so much again. Um, I'll make you my queen forever. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Let me take you to a real paradise. What are you talking about? No, 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 I am tired. No, 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 no. <laughs> what does he mean? This man returned from London and become sick in the head. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I cannot support such info. He cannot give such judgment. It's not, it's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. No, no, I won't no, take no, it. Me. I can't take it. Hey. Okay, no. What is wrong with him? Here, my words, my dear. These are coming and bearable. Look at the way he went past such judgment. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? We don't know. And Cloud, that land belongs to them. Mm. Because you're from Maniabi? No, 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 no. It's obvious. People are talking about my it. My friend, you're talking rubbish. Huh? Let me tell you. That land belongs to us, the Anuku clan. Our forefathers single-handedly gave that land to us. Really? Oh, you know, we just decided to give you guys the land. And now you want to take it back. It's not a problem, Abby. Eh? My dear, let me tell you. 
you need to go and search properly. Do your research very well. That land belongs to us. In fact, I don't want to argue this thing with you. Mm. Please, better. I want to go home. Better, better. Oh. Imagine. Look at her. It belongs to your, 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 your land. It belongs to your land. Listen. Biggie, biggie, mwah. Biggie, biggie, mwah. Biggie, biggie, mwah. Na, 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 it cannot happen. It cannot happen all in my life. What is the problem now? Hey! Now, you can breathe the Hey! 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 King Abba threatened to throw me, his own beloved, out of the palace. Can you imagine that? Maka, again, is he? Papa, why? Why? He gave the land of and the clan to us. Mm. Wait. Mm. You mean the land at Oji? Mom! Mom! We, as his brothers, expected him to give these people back their land. Yeah, that's what you expected. That land does not belong to Anuku clan. I cannot support evil. Even the others of Anuku clan were against For what? Hey! I know that land. That land belongs to Anuku clan. Yes. Then why is he giving this to us? Hmm. Papa, Papa, that, that, that man is becoming so mean like his daughter. Yes! Arurala. What is wrong with him? Why is he behaving like that? This is serious. That is wickedness in the bloodline. Like father, like daughter. Hmm. Arwala. See, let me tell you. He must revise that judgment. Otherwise, it will be a total fall of his head. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. He has allowed materialism to lose his head. That is another abomination for a king as that. Hmm. Our tradition frowns at an unjust king go. I know why I'm saying it. I have said my own. Papa, you don't understand. That land has some mineral resources. And the king's intention is to claim everything to himself. Papa, it will never happen. But my husband is from Ani. And for this time around, I'm going to stand by him and I'll back him up. Mm -hmm. why, why, is he, why is he behaving like that? Mm -hmm. Set here. Mm. You smell war. Hey. But it will not happen. Mm. The gods of our land will not allow it to happen. Hey. Wicked people. Who forbid? Yes, mother, I'm having a slight fever and headache. Are you sure? Because <laughs> this is not slight headache for I hope you know what you're doing. Mother, I'm, I don't understand. Are you saying that I am pregnant for a man who has not even dropped a penny on my head? I did not say so. I am a but princess. I know what I am food. doing, mother. I know you are a princess. I also know you know the customs and traditions of this land. Mother, I do. <laughs> She has been on air for the past few days now. She's going through a lot to make sure the company survives this hard time. 
She has sacrificed a lot. And all she could get is pregnancy insinuation here and there. Woman, watch your mouth. My daughter is a princess and she's grounded with the customs and traditions of our people. She knows the consequences of getting unwanted pregnancy. This throne, the crown, will be gone. Woman, watch your mouth and allow my daughter to run the company in peace. Sorry. Better be. Please, can I say something about this land? No. You are a woman of an clan, and you are rejoicing because your people are fighting against me. This is the most surprising news I've ever had in my whole life. Come to think of it, how can the princess be pregnant? Huh. Let us not conclude so fast. Because to me, it's impossible for the princess to get pregnant. And you know she hates men. I wouldn't allow anyone to come close to her. I won't talk of getting pregnant. I wish that is possible. I mean, if the princess is truly pregnant, I would be happy. Because I equal will reduce once and for all. Oh, would you yeah. what? I've said my mind. What is going on in this kingdom? I mean, what is going on? What is wrong with our king? Why is he acting like a demigod? Huh? He is tempting the wrath of the gods. Can you imagine that? First of all, he chased my father, the owner of this kingdom, out of the palace. And now he's doing the same to my husband. Huh? Ukem, okay. Ukem, okay, where are you going to? Stay and take care of our baby. I'm coming. Where are you going to? Come back! What's wrong? What, where is he going to? What's going on here? Baby!
No, 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 please. This, this can be. Miss my beard. Does it mean I am pregnant? Ha, huh? no. Oh my goodness. Mildred, I want to see you in my office right now. Just leave whatever you're doing and come now. I mean now. Thank you. Mildred. Yes. Did you say you were on your floor? Yes. Why did you ask? And I normally see my own after just. I'm supposed to see this week, right? Yes. I mean, I, I normally see mine on the 4th, and yours is like around um, 6th, 7th. Oh my God. Wait. Have you not seen your period? I haven't. As a matter of fact, it came out last month. It didn't even come out at all. This month, it just ran for two days, and that's it. It's supposed to be for four days. Natasha. What? Am I pregnant? Am I pregnant? Oh my god. You have to go and see him. Oh my god. You have to see him fast so that he will pay your dowry before they notice. Oh my god. Natasha, this is a taboo. Why didn't you use protection? I'm sorry. I, I don't know. You just scared. What do I do? Oh. Oh god. You can't be pregnant. Your Majesty, a wise man listens to the counsel of his kinsmen, but a fool refuses to give ear to wisdom. As, um, as you can see, I am a wise and a wealthy king. Now your parable is not meant for me. You are suddenly becoming arrogant to the gods and to the people of this great kingdom. Earthworms are eating your flesh, King Ebert. But you think it is a tickle. You have failed! But you think you have not. It is a matter of time. It shall surface. I have not offended the gods. And none of my family have so tell me. What do I own this uninformed visit? Your great grandfather gave the land to his younger brother, Aninta. Because Aninta saved his soul, saved his life in the battlefield. The reason you are living today and breathing is Aninta. Had he been Aninta, he hated his elder brother, Anyoku. He would have allowed the poisonous spare to pierce deeply into his soul. He suffered decades upon decades. But his reward for all his effort is that land which you decreed as a new land. King Ebert, the soul of your ancestors are not pleased with you. Reverse your judgment now. Reverse your judgment now. There's a more. The land belongs to a new clan. 
gift can be taken back as a mod that is my decree. It's unreversible. A call of death, I see. A call of death, I see, King Ebert. From when a dog wants to die, it does not perceive it as great. Things are happening, but you are too blind. You are too blind to see. King Gebat. A word is enough for a king. here because of what happened today and I don't talk about it and that's my problem with you you never give me attention because I am not Natasha well I get it but further I advise you tune it down a bit because ever since you got back from the UK you have drastically changed Ask the guards to throw you into the palace cell. Get out this minute. Your Majesty. That land is full with milk and honey. Anuku must be blinded not to see it all. That land belongs to us. And nothing, nothing will make me change my mind. Not at all. Nothing will make me to change my mind. Sit down. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I can see this is your first time in my house. Yes. It's a okay. fine house. Uh, well, thank you. As Governor Asper, this is one of my guest houses. And uh, you can make yourself comfortable. What can I offer you, please? Um, nothing, sir. Actually, I came to give this file to you. Oh. Yeah, I understand that uh, she cannot set her eyes on me right now until I do the right things. Yes, sir. It's the culture. And you have to do something very fast. If not, sir, the royal family will be dethroned if people find out. Yeah, I understand. I know. I know it's the culture. I mean, she's pregnant for me and she's not allowed to set her eyes on me until I come and pay her bread price. Yes, sir. I know that and uh, I'm working seriously to see that I come to do that. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah. So that's very good. That's good. So when are you coming? Actually, uh, me and my family were thinking about coming this weekend, you know, to meet with the King 101. Wow. To wow. do the right thing. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure Natasha can't wait, sir. Of course, of course. Please, let me get you something. I can see you at and stuff, okay? And uh, the sun is very hot outside. Please, Thank excuse you. me. Uh, would you like uh, wine, juice? Anything, sir. Alright, I think uh, I know what's going on. Okay. Here you are. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> That's welcome. kind of you. Thank you. <clears throat> The juice is nice. Thank you. So tell me. Tell me something about you. <laughs> well, I'm just me. Uh, anyway, sir, I wanted to thank you so much for making my friend happy. Oh. <laughs> you see, Princess Natasha is my, is my kind of woman. I really love her. 
and I can't wait to have her in my house to spend wow. the rest of my life with me. I'm sure she can't wait to. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Just make yourself comfortable, okay? Mother, you need to talk to Father. Talk to him to reverse his judgment. I mean, the history is fact. So factual that even a toddler knows about it. Mother, I think this is a test. They are trying to test Father to see what he will say. And obviously, Father is a big flop. Mind your language. Well, I'm sorry, Mother, but things will get out of hand if Father continues to prove resistance. There will be chaos between us and the people of Annie. Of course, you know my two uncles are already on their side. Yes. So if Father decides to go to war, it's going to be a lose for us. But you know how rigid and pragmatic your father is. But he's your husband and you can talk to him. Why don't you talk to him, Mother? Are you aware that your sister flew to Abuja for the past two days now? Mother, can we focus on what is at hand and not talk about Natasha now? I am more concerned about the words of Ezemo. Yes. It was eating on your father's head. And he thinks he's being tickled. Now, your father is so blind to see what is about to happen to him. Those words portrays evil. And to avert this evil, Father has to reverse his judgment and allow the people of Ani take over that land in peace. Son, I just wish you will understand. Mother, you can melt that man's heart with your kind words. He is your husband. I've done that, even before now. You know what? Your father is a very stubborn king when it comes to his judgment. Yes, so that is what is happening. You are not in the company anymore. I heard that you are now working in a little girl. Hmm. Babe, 
you really enjoy it. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, mm -hmm. this is a small world indeed. Yeah. My dear sister, when one door closes, yes. another door opens. Exactly. Uh -huh. So, tell me, what were you saying about Princess Natasha? Hmm. Mm. Did I travel all the way from our village to come and tell you lies? I say Natasha is now madly in love. Mm. The crazy most annoying princess who preaching the word of God to us to be high on lady without her mom. Huh. My dear, I thank God because she did not spoil the marriage. Hmm. My dear, she did not though. Yeah. I stood my ground. Yes! Although it wasn't easy. Yes! Know, but I have to stand my ground. And today, I am eating the fruit of my labor. Wow. Yeah. So look at me. I'm working in a better company uh -oh. right now. Doing very well than the company I was before. Yes. Princess Natasha's father's company. Uh -uh. Is that not a breaking news? Wow. Breaking yes, news. Not a... small. <laughs> we are seeing things in that company, babe. We are seeing things. Are you serious? She's not even in the town. And what do you mean? I'm suspecting something. Okay. It's like Princess Natasha is pregnant. Oh yes, she is pregnant. No way. Huh? <laughs> Princess Natasha. Uh-huh. The so-called feminist. Yes, so. No, 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 no. Not Princess Natasha. Her beg. Is she not a woman? She was fully hers then. She has fallen. Her ties are scratching her now. Huh. I pity the innocent workers like this. Wait, 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 wait. Do you know what it means for the princess of this kingdom to be pregnant out of wedlock? Huh? We will show a cash fire. Let the cash fire now. Ha, huh, please. I want to carry your baby. Please. <laughs> the baby is sleeping. Uh -huh. Okay. Don't okay. worry. Some other time you will carry. Really? Yes. Thank you. Hey! The princess is pregnant. <laughs> eh? But are you sure of what you're saying? She's pregnant. Hmm. Is she not aware of the customs and tradition of this land? My dear, it shocked me too. I'm in shock. I'm in shock of it. Like I was surprised. A whole feminist princess. Hmm. The princess of this land, pregnant. Hey. Well, um, she deserves it. About it and let's talk of something else because the world has ears. Is there a problem? <laughs> you see, she deserves it. If she's pregnant, she deserves it. After all, she sacked you because of your husband. Exactly. Okay? Yeah. And she sacked me because of my girlfriend, Amaka. You see, that Kama now is working. Kama is a bitch. Yes, so. Uh -huh. Kama is a bitch. Nice one. Oh. Nice one. Hey, and what about the king? Has he called the elders? The king? Yes. Hey, otherwise, are you sounding as if you don't know who the king is? That man is a tyrant. A king that cannot even listen to Ezemo. He doesn't respect Ezemo at all. Not to talk about the elders of this village. No, no. Please, let's uh, forget about the king and any other thing. That is not why I'm here. I'm here for something more important. I, I hope all is well. The world's has ears. You're my cousin. Okay. You're my favorite cousin for that matter. You know, I want to please beg you for something more important. I am suffering. In fact, I've been suffering ever since I lose my job. You know my plight in this village. You know my situation. You know my condition. I am jobless. I don't have anything. The last time I came here, I told you how much I came back to the village with just 500 naira. So please, help me, eh? help me look for a job, let me not die in this village, Miko, eh? in that your work, your local government's work, help me look for one and secure it for me, I promise I will work very fine and make money, I don't want to come here every day and beg you people for money, eh? please talk to your husband for me, you guys can do something, eh? help I me, I will die you. No, please, it's okay, you don't have to think about that, okay? Please, oh, I don't want to lose you. You will not die. I promise you one thing, that I will make sure that you get a job in local governments. Okay? 
plus. Because I know you're hard working. Yes. I know you what you can do. You're not a lazy man. To me. Me? Ah! Nothing. Ah! God, I'm, I'm naked. I am naked. My, my clothes are on the floor. What did you do to me? It is nothing to you. You fell asleep, so I brought you up here and you started touching me. Well, <laughs> me? Pick up! Why is she not picking her calls? It's driving me nuts. Pick up, pick up. Oh goodness God! Why is she not picking her calls? Where did you find this car? Uh, uh, I, I saw it here, this spot. Uh, as I was about going to the beach shop to take my pets, I, I saw the uh, car here. Yeah. I don't know what it means. In this house? Uh, just here, this spot you're standing on. I'm serious. Hey. Yes. You know what? You keep it a secret. Don't tell anyone. Yeah. You keep it a secret. Okay. Do you understand? And right now, I don't want you to go out again. Huh? You remain here and see if you have this again. This is a message. I don't want to assume. Okay. But you said I should not go out. Uh, and I should keep it as a secret. Yes, yes, yes. Please, I want to know. I am curious. What is the meaning of this? Huh? What is it doing in our house? I mean, okay. The meaning will be very clear. But not now. Uh, yeah. Papa, you're scaring me. Through this, I just came out from the house. I didn't know. I did not drink it from inside. I saw it here. I picked it, and you came now. Just tell me. I, my hands are clean, though. Hey, hey, I don't hey, really, I don't want to have any hey, issue with the girls or any hey, problem. Hey, okay. I know what I'm saying. Don't be scared, okay? Hey? Don't be scared. Hey! Come on, my dear! Come here, 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 my dear! Come here,
you know they you know they find trouble, you know they see that your twin sister now. Ah. But no problem, huh? All the same. We we'll have a message for your father. Okay. <clears throat> Please tell him to reverse that judgment before the next came market day. Else there will be trouble in that royal house. Look at our faces, we are not smiling. Please do tell him that. Yes, I will tell my father that. Something about this land dispute, and you have to do it now. Is there any problem? Oh, yes, mother, there's a problem. On my way back, some youths from any clan intercepted me. They were looking fearless, they were looking mad and angry, they were looking like they were ready to die for this cause. They told me to tell my father that he should reverse his judgment before the next AK market day, else, this royal house will be on fire. Father, you need to have seen these boys. They were looking so angry. You need to do something about this, Father. Is that all? What? Did that make sense here? Yes, you are not. But you and you more than leave my presence. I saw those bandits. I will deal with their leader. Father, they are not bandits, but youths from any clan. Think about this. Your Majesty. Madam, it's of your best interest that you do not obstruct our duties here as police officers. Young man, move it. No, my husband is not a criminal. Madam, if you want to know what your husband has done, why don't you join us at the police station after that? My husband is a thief! My husband is a thief! Move it! Come! Hold him! Why are you taking my husband? Oh. oh my God. You are Chief Obed Nawaha, right? Yes, Your Highness. The one that wants to marry my daughter. Yes, Your Highness, you're correct. I see. Well, I've, I've heard a lot about you. You are contesting for governorship election. <laughs> yes. That's good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Your Highness.
you must have a lot of money because that's a high position. Exactly. <laughs> Not just money. I have a, I have a very deep uh, vision for the state. Your Highness, I have been meaning to come and pay you a homage uh, since you returned from London. But you know, uh, political meetings here and there, campaigns and all that has taken my time. Oh, I understand. Uh, I understand. <laughs> Thank you. Once again, you're welcome. Just be assured of my community votes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Highness. And that would mean a lot to me. <laughs> Thank you. King Albert! What has my son-in-law did to you that he had to send securities to nab him like a criminal? Your Highness, who is this? Oh no. Have you lost it? Release that boy with immediate effect. I can see the days of your reign is coming to an end. You've stepped beyond your bounds. Guards! Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Please. Please. Leave now. If I feed your flesh, please, your dogs. Please, your majesty, please, please. Release him now. I won't repeat myself again. Okay, fine. I will. Your Highness, is that your no? Yes, please. Oh, no, your Highness. He's too small for my liking. Imagine the way he was ranting here. Before a king. He has been like a sense of lie in my mouth. I'm sorry about I'm sorry about that, my your highness. Uh, <clears throat> like I said. Hi babe. Yes, I am sorry. Yes, I know, I know. I am so sorry, okay? I was in a meeting when you called and uh, you know how the political meeting goes. You know, we always have meetings. In fact, I'm so stressed up right now. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, yes, yes. I got a fire from Midred. You know, I didn't get the time to talk to her. I was in a board meeting when she came, so I just discharged her and got the fires. Are you coming to the house later? Oh, you're in the airport. All right, all right, all right. I can't wait to see you. Love you. Yeah. My brother and my brother. It's of necessity that when we get to the police station, you find out what he has done. Hey, uh, please, you can just tell us now. This is our no who you're talking about. That, that, tell us what happened, please. Let's just say two things, Amiki Please. Yeah? Yeah. The police is your friend. If you want to join us, you can join us to the station. When we get there, you find out what he has done. I'll follow them. I'll follow them. You better follow them. know what happened. You can't just go and no like that. Hey! Eh? Hello. 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 Father, Father, why are you like this? Why are you dehumanizing your own subject? Why, Father, why? Father, I am talking to you. What is the name of the God that's wrong with you? Your days are numbered. You touched the rod of the gods with your bare hands. The police will soon come for you if you don't leave this palace this moment. Leave my palace! <laughs> you were all bad. You are just a walking corpse. <laughs>
Baby. You're welcome. Um, so, how did it go? Prince Desmond bailed out of us. His father, the king, has beaten more than he can chew. I know. His days are numbered on the throne. For laying his hand on my father, who is the owner of this kingdom, he has beaten more than he can chew. He has crossed the limits. So tell me, did he lay hands on you? No. So what was your offense? That I rebelled against the king. That I was trying to kidnap the prince. Okay. All sort of cock -a -boo stories. Can you imagine? I want nonsense. <sighs> Flimsy excuses. It's okay. I have suffered. I have suffered in this village. Baby, it's okay. Hmm? Hmm? My love, calm down. Hmm? Look at how I was humiliated by the king. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Let me just um, draw water for you to freshen up and eat, okay? Hmm? Take it easy. Go. Go. That man, his days are long. But then, what are you? Let me Are you serious? Papa, I am serious, so. In fact, I am 100% serious. Eh? Let me tell you what happened. King Albert has arrested our youth leader, eh? Iruna. Yes. Izuna has been arrested by our king. The king said that uh, Izuna, they are, they are just, you know, instigating violence in the kingdom. And they are also planning to kidnap the king and Prince Desmond. Imagine what your brother is doing. Hey, Imagine. how bad. Our brother is not like this before now. I don't drive this thing. What came over our brother? Eyes of the gold. Greetings. Mazio Keke. You're welcome. Your son, Ebenike, has been chosen to be the king of this kingdom. The gods have rejected King Ebert and his household. Prepare him. Prepare him. I knew it. I knew it. That cowry. Huh? The royal cowry. I knew it. Yeah, Nick. Yeah, I made it happen. Yeah, you really made it happen. <laughs> you are the man. I told you. The game changer. I he told is you. a game changer. You know, I told you he was going to win, but you didn't listen. Now he won. Yes. <laughs> so your yes. five million is Jabba. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's his game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Yeah. So I, I put it to him. But you're one. Congratulations. He's a game changer. <laughs> bro. Congratulations, bro. Five million. Yeah. Who mm -hmm. fight me? Yes. <laughs> Give you one. Oh, get it off your. Get it on, man. Get it on, man. Get it on, man. Oh, yeah. get it off your. Look where we are. Who have you? Yeah. Well, and now she said, babe, so you need water. Hey, babe. What's going on here? <laughs> How did you get to know each other? All right, guys, enough, enough. <laughs> All right, let him talk. <laughs> Princess Natasha, it's a game over. All right? It was all a game, and I'm done playing the game. It's unfortunate that you're pregnant. What are you talking about? I, I don't understand. What's the game? Uh, if you want a game, uh, <laughs> my probability. Well, let me uh, explain to you. These two guys here are my close friends from way back, okay? And we played this game on your head. That whoever deflects your pride and ego will go home with five million naira cash. Cash that you wanted. <laughs> And I happen to be the best player. Yes. You know, actually, he, he believed you're not going to win. But now you won. 
That's the summer here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you trying to say that this is a sex job? Wait. You're not real. <laughs> my darling Princess Natasha, I am not real, my dear. And I'm never gonna be real. Everything about me is fake. I am never a politician, neither do I own any property. I have nothing. If you look at me from head to toe, it's all fake. It's just my strategy to get people like you. Oh. So wake up from your sleep and uh, the Maluma will be able to go. You know, Natasha, you were actually thinking you were going to own all the property. Now, property could fire you. <laughs> property, now you could fire you. Uh, you <laughs> listen, there are people who don't uh, subdue uh, or subject to, all right? And these people are him, me, all of us. You can't do that to us, okay? Rubbish. And I am pregnant for you. You are nothing but a slimy bastard. Now I need all the documents to my properties. I want to have my documents right now. It's too Else! Late. It's too late. Don't be a fool, Princess Natasha. Not at all. Do not be a fool. You are nothing but a useless miscreant. That is what you are. You are a dumb head. You know, I told you. I told you you will fail. I told you you will regret ever meeting someone like me. Now listen, let me tell you. This guy here is my friend. I will play the game on your head. And he won. <laughs> and that's the game. You are a loser. I will advise you to get your dirty axe out of this house. Fool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've said it all, Collins. That's part of the game. <laughs> Bruce, how manage? How did you do this? Like you brought down her ego and was not gonna hide her, just like that. Yakata. <laughs> Guys, you've seen the picture. I know they make mouth. Obviously. I am master in this game. See? Marathon sex back to back. This princess are people. Forget this form where she the form. As I give her, she the zam, 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 zam. She the respond. Two four seven Makino. Really? You lost that. The prince. Forget this babe. You are bad. She, she bad, but she could perform as nothing. Okay. My dear princess, I want you to also know that that bastard in your womb is also a king. Well, princess, to your best interest, I want you to get this into your score, your empty score. Do not have in the back of your mind to return to this house with this bastard in your womb. Because this house is also a game. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I have nothing. It's all a game. Well, I, guys, I think we should leave this house for her to stay since she wants to be here. I promise you. You all were brought in jail. <laughs> you were brought in hell. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> you know what, Princess uh, Natasha? You do not threaten me to jail. That's the jail. Let me have my story, Pete. Let me have my documents. Are you crazy? You think I'm talking about it? Would you just. Let's get I don't want to see you. I'm not going to be you. I'm not going to be you. King Edward, you have discreted the statue of the royal house. You insulted the honor and refused to yield to the voice of the ghost. Your daughter has broken the sacred law of the royal house as well. As a more, you know I fear no one. What you are talking is our nonsense. So what do you want? <laughs> King Abbas! You are leaving the palace today! Dead or alive? <laughs> no way. That charm with you will not save you this time. Because your daughter has neutralized it. By having a child in her womb. Natasha. Yes. An illegitimate child. Oh. 
Sorry, Father, I I don't know what get, I don't know what got to about me. You have dropped doom to the palace, and your father has passed a wrong judgment to the clan of Anne. He refused to reverse his judgment. He assaulted the enemy thinking he has a fetish protection. Igwe Albert, you have only today to evacuate the palace. Yes! You face the wrath of the gods. We shall see them. <laughs> A stubborn fly Go straight to the grave with the corpse. You have been warned. So help your father. So I'm weak. No father. You refuse to listen to the voice of the gods. Now look at you. Natasha! Huh? Hello? Natasha, you have killed your father. I saw his coming, but he deceived us all. He killed my husband. He said, please do something. I'm sorry. You discredited the sacred law of the palace. <laughs> I'm sorry. A new king has a match, but not from this family. What? Mom, forgive her. You know your father is dead. If you kill her, what will happen to me? Mother! Please! She killed my father! <laughs> oh, my dear Natasha! I thought you had to get her. But no! You are You fucking man! First camera! And you're pregnant for him! Sorry. Natasha! Hand over for father! Stop her! Because that is all I want! That's all that belongs to me right now! I will never forgive you. I swear! I will never forgive you! 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 They scammed me, they, they, they duped me, they took everything away from me. I gave them everything. What? I gave them all the documents to all the eh? documents of all the four parties. What? I didn't... What? 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 I knew all this while that you've been fooled. I told you. But you wouldn't listen. Because you thought you were smarter than me. We lost a job. Because father suddenly became a tyrant to his subject. 
we lost everything. We are no longer royals. I can no longer become king in my own kingdom. What I've always dreamt of. What I've always prepared myself for. All thanks to you and Father. Thank you. It's okay, son. Sorry, bro. Only I'm sorry. Guys, I told you I am master in this game. You said it. <laughs> so finally, the almighty princess could bled. Yes, I told you I would do it, and I did it. You are the game master. Cheers to that. Cheers, bro. <laughs> I am happy now. Cheers. Cheers bro. <laughs> Police? Officers. These are the criminals. I have always known you a thief. Yes, you, Obina. But I let everything play out because I had my eyes on you. You thought you were smart to try to steal my company from me? The police snapped you today because they have been watching your every move with my sister. And at the break of it, here you are. It's so painful and disheartening that my sister could open her legs for you to impregnate her. That, that is a shame. I will leave it for the rest of my life. But I promise you, she will never see the break of dawn again. Yes. Please, my prince. I am sorry. We can work something out. Please. Look at you. Prince Ogona! The thing that you were my friend. You could not with this miscreant. To do this to me and my family? Huh. All because you wanted to get back at my sister. Fine. You enjoy this in hell. Because I will fight with the last drop of my blood to ensure that you all spend the rest of your lives in jail. Please. I assure you. Please. We can settle this. My Let's friends. work out some time. We are good friends. You can do this to me. You can document. You. I believe this is mine. Officers. My prince. Get this man up here. I am a crown prince. I am a crown prince. Move. Calm down. We have lost everything like that. Officer, calm down. We can all shift it out. I can give you a nap after. 